Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to export in DaVinci Resolve 16 uh, specifically for YouTube videos. So this is the editing software I use personally right now for my YouTube videos. And I'm going to show you guys how I render out my videos to make sure they render out nicely and in 4K. Uh, really easy and simple to do. Uh, so once you have your completed clip and video that you want to render out here, uh, you just want to click on the little rocket. It's the last tab on the uh, bottom of the DaVinci screen. It's called Deliver tab. So you just want to click on that and it'll bring you over to this rendering, rendering kind of like center here. Uh, and what I do personally is I go up to the top where it says render settings and under it, it says YouTube. I click on that and then I just change the resolution to 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Uh, one thing you want to make sure as well that your format is QuickTime. Uh, your video codec is uh, H.264. Uh, it's very, very important for your video to be good for YouTube. It's just because YouTube compresses the video down uh, to make it a lot smaller so people that don't have access to good data are still able to watch your video. So it's very important you want to leave it like that for YouTube to be able to break down your video still at a high quality rate. Um, so yeah, this is how uh, I render out my videos. And all you do is here is just make a name for it. So like test video. And then you click on browse and then you could obviously save it to where you want to save it. Uh, I'm going to save my video here. I'll click on save and then I want to just make sure I save in that location. Uh, another thing to point out with DaVinci is you always want to make sure this bar here is fully all the way to the end of the video or else it won't render all of your video. Uh, so once you confirm that is all the way to the end, you can click on add to render queue and click on add. And then you'll notice it'll pop over here, job number one. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and click on start render and it'll render out for you. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with this video. If I was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.